بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it gives me great pleasure to be uh, with you this morning and to have this opportunity to introduce the activities of the Qatar Faculty of Islamic Studies, uh, which a young member of the Education City and of Qatar Foundation. We uh, started our teaching activities in the middle of the spring of 2007. Our research centers started uh, last year, as a matter uh, of fact. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to share with you, or I hope to share with you, our vision and our activities so far, and again to join Dean Allison in calling for your support, collaboration, and joint activities. Uh, Qatar Faculty of Islamic Studies was uh, established with a different vision from the legacy of Islamic schools around the world, uh, whether in the uh, majority Islamic countries or in other centers around the world. We started from uh, a definite uh, mission that we are here to engage with the world, not to separate from it. We are here to present Islam as it had been presented, active, and involved with the development of science, technology, arts, and literature for centuries. And we think that so many things that take, took place in the Muslim world and in the other countries that somehow gave a lot of shadow on this mission and vision of Islam. As such, we hope through our activities, programs, academic programs, as well as our research, to revive and reintroduce what should be the true mission of Islamic thinking, Islamic civilization, and Islamic activities. Uh, starting from this, we uh, decided, it was decided, that to start as a postgraduate school, and of course, postgraduate school is inseparable from research activities. We have, at the moment, uh, three master's degrees, one of them in contemporary jurisprudence, the other one is in public policy in Islam, the third one a master of science in Islamic finance. I think you can see from the title we are talking about what exactly the reflection of our mission and vision on our programs. In the uh, degree on contemporary jurisprudence, we are trying to establish our students uh, not only in the classics and fundamentals and the essentials of Islamic jurisprudence, but to bring them up to the minute with the challenging facing Muslims living in majority Muslim countries as well as Muslims living outside the Muslim majority countries, how they can be part of their societies, how can they actively and positively participate in this world, and in the same time keep their faith and keep their practices uh, intact. The uh, degree in public policy in Islam, once again, I think the whole world is occupied with, between brackets, so-called political Islam, the involvement, the issues of democracy, civil society, so on and so forth. And this is the deg first degree of its kind worldwide to introduce the study of public policy, doing, teaching our students the same generic issues that's taught in any reputable public policy school in the world, and at the same time enabling them to be able to recover and revive the tradition and heritage in political thought and in civil society activities and in public finance that have helped the world to develop for centuries, and we hope to make a contribution in the, for the generations to come. The Master of Science in Islamic Finance, I think it is a topical issue at the moment with the international financial crisis, and we do sincerely believe that Islamic finance as a financial system, not as a religious-based concept, as a financial system, has a lot to offer to the world, and this is something that's debatable 
for or have been debatable for the last few years, and we hope to make this positive contribution through it. Our planned two degrees for the fall semester, inshallah, and have been already reviewed by our international review committees. Uh, a degree in urban design and architecture in Muslim societies, and a master's degree in the study of contemporary Muslim societies. That will extend to cover the study of majority as well as minority Muslim societies and communities. Now, as I said, we cannot have a postgraduate faculty without research arms. As such, we have a number of research centers that already, as it started actively last year, we have the Center for uh, Modern. Uh, jurisprudence and renewal in Islam, that's named after Sheikh Yusuf al Qaradawi. We have the Center for Governance and Public Policy. We have the Center for Islamic Economics and Finance, the Center for Islamic Urban Planning and Architecture, and the Center for the Study of Contemporary Muslim Societies, and the Center uh, for Urban Planning and Architecture in Islam. Now, as I said, these centers already started, or some of them started actively. The kind of areas that we ventured into it, we have been involved with. Uh, we have had two workshops on two different issues in bioethics. That's, again, uh, of concern. One of them is highlighted in one of the pamphlets circulated to you about the stem cells uh, research and the Islamic ethical view on uh, various aspects of it. We also have a development at the moment workshop in tran organ transplant and the uh, ethical boundaries for that. This goes in line with the development of some sort of an ethical code for in various areas of uh, biomedical research. We have some of our staff actively involved into the development of intellectual property uh, code and legislation and application and including the various aspects of Islamic thinking into that and this is again with collaboration with QSTB. Uh, uh, we are going to have tomorrow as a matter of fact an international workshop on the governance of identity where we have participants from uh, Qatar, from Egypt, from Russia, from Germany, from Canada uh, I think that, uh, from Singapore, and the list is a bit longer, we are going to discuss the crisis of identity and the challenging facing identity for both Muslim minorities and Muslim majority countries and for non-Muslim minorities and Islamic majority countries, and that's why the diversification into this. We hope that the outcome of this workshop that lasts for two days will be published uh, again, uh, along with the, the results of the workshops on the uh, bioethics that I referred to. In the meantime, we are working on, as I said, the Islamic finance issue is uh, mushrooming. It is the fastest growing industry in the world for the last four years, and it's likely to continue to grow at the same rate, if not higher. However, we thought that it's our task to academically and practically and pragmatically analyze the various products that's available in the market, make a good classification and rating for it, and hopefully to develop new products that would serve, as I said, the financial and the economic transactions throughout the world. And already some of these products have been adopted by, if I may use the term, although I don't like it, non-financial based uh, an institution in the finance world. So it's again another manifestation of how we can contribute to the world and not to separate uh, from it. The Center for the Study of Contemporary Muslim Societies just have been formed a few months ago. It already is going to have its first workshop in collaboration with Copenhagen University about the study that's uh, preparing it for it to take some time in January about the study of the impact of religious media in the majority Muslim countries. And we, I think all of us agree on the role, positive and negative, that the media plays 
in the relations between people everywhere and between nations, sometimes, as I said, positively or negatively. This is, again, a series of workshops that we hope it will result, again, in a publication in collaboration with uh, Copenhagen University and Oxford University. And that will bring me to the second point that uh, since we uh, started, we have extended our arms to welcome uh, collaboration and joint efforts with a number of uh, uh, academic centers uh, in Qatar and outside uh, Qatar. Uh, needless to say, we have a continuing collaboration in both workshop activities with Qatar University and we uh, have, again, a continuing collaboration with Oxford University in exchange of professors and in a series of workshops that I wouldn't bother you by telling it's less. It's a two-year program of workshops that will discuss a number of uh, very topical issues that's of concern. And in the meantime, I hope to be able to disseminate it to all of you. We have also a very active participation and joint research in Islamic economics and finance with Durham University. Uh, for the public policy area, we have again the collaboration which is manifested in tomorrow's workshop with uh, Oxford, with Carleton, and with Singapore University, a new school of public policy. In the area of we are, uh, and that's, this hopefully will develop into something Truthfully new, we are working on a joint project with ASSC School of Business in Paris uh, to jointly have uh, a series of workshops that we result again in publication in Islamic finance and we hope that this will be available before the uh, beginning of next academic year. It will be development of uh, academic material that can be used in the teaching of uh, Islamic uh, finance. We have, in the meantime, uh, again, active uh, collaboration with uh, bodies on the field. We have already signed a memo of understanding with the International Development uh, Islamic Bank in Jeddah and with the Center of Civilization Dialogue in Cairo University and the Interreligious Face uh, in, in Doha uh, here and we are looking forward to collaboration in our uh, urban design and architecture with VCU as we are doing actively with Qatar University now in a way that we think that we have to be uh, beneficial to our local society, to our region and to the world. I believe this is our vision, I believe this is our mission. And so far, alhamdulillah, thank God, we tried to reflect that and we were successful. And we have uh, our students from 37 nationalities uh, so far. We, uh, our faculty reflects the four corners of the earth as well. And this is again a manifestation of uh, what we are trying to say that Islam, as it contributed to civilization, it will contribute and will continue to contribute hand in hand with all other faces and beliefs and ideologies, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. And we are here to try to establish this concept. Thanks very much and look forward to your active participation, collaboration with Qatar faculty of Islamic studies.